Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Snowa and now let's get into tutorial number 10. So the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is an eye reflection effect. All you're going to need for this effect to work is a shot of someone's eye and then a shot of whatever you want to use to mask over it. So let's get into Premiere Pro so I can show you guys real quick how to accomplish this effect. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, here are the two clips I'm going to be using. Here's the eye shot right here that I have of my friend. And then here is another shot that I'm going to put over it of the ocean. So first step to do this is to select the second clip of the ocean and place it over the shots of her eyes. So now we're going to start masking, but first I want to see her eyes. So go over into video effects for the ocean shot and go over to opacity and you're going to see the little stopwatch symbol. You're going to want to deselect that for now and put the opacity at zero so we can see through. And now the next step is to make sure this clip is still selected and let's draw a mask over the eye. So right here, let's just start drawing a rough. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle because we're going to heavily feather it, but that's right there. Okay. Now let's do a little quick circle right here. Okay. Now let's go back over to opacity in the video effects again for this clip and turn it all the way up so we can see it. So now you can see the clip in the mask. So then let's go over to mask feather and mask one and raise it up to around 80. Now let's go up to hundred. There we go. And then let's lower the mask expansion to where you see those outer lines kind of circling the eye like that. See those little dashed lines. We're going to want it around the eye like that. Okay. Perfect. So next thing that I normally like to do is go to blend mode right here to where it says normal and you're going to click that and you're going to see this drop down. After that, I'm going to go down to screen right here to change it. It depends on the kind of clip it is, if it's dark, bright or whatever. This is more preferably on how you want to do it. You don't normally have to go to blend mode to change it. You could also go to opacity and just lower the opacity a little bit, which I will do as well. So now let me go up here to opacity and I'm going to change it to maybe like 80 like that. Perfect. And you can do it as much. You can put it lower or lo not lower it at all. It's preferably on how you want to do it. So the next thing to do now, we want to track the mask to the eye. So let's go up to mask one right here to where it says mask path. And we're going to want to select that stopwatch to create a keyframe there. Perfect. Now, Select mask one so you can see the mask again, and then let's start moving it around. So let's go to the beginning of the clip and start tracking the mask to the eye. Okay, so now let's look at the mask real quick on how it looks. See, it's going over the eye pretty nicely. Let's see how the mask looks. See how it's tracked over the eye like that? You don't necessarily have to go frame by frame. You could go from the beginning to the end and then go in between just tweaking it and fixing it on how you please. But normally this kind of masking works on a works better on a higher frame rate like 120, which is what I shot it on. Because it's a little smoother and working on slow motion with this is a little easier to mask and then keyframe but that's basically how you do the eye reflection in your eyes and you could use the same exact steps to do that in her other eye as well but for the sake of the tutorial i'm just going to do one eye so i can show you the steps on how to accomplish it but you could do this to any eye also if anything that's like a circle a cube you could do the same thing to add a reflection but that's how you do an eye reflection in premiere pro and if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I will be trying to do a tutorial once a week. And thank you for watching.